Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we will be solving another lead code problem in TypeScript. The problem name is valid parenthesis and the uh, problem statement is you are given a string that consists only of parenthesis. These parenthesis, these type of parenthesis, it, it involves uh, round parenthesis, curly parenthesis, and uh, round parenthesis. Okay so our task is to determine if the input string is valid if the opening bracket matches with the opening or uh, closing bracket if uh, they follows a pattern we will determine if the arrangement of uh, these parentheses are valid in simpler terms we are checking if every opening parenthesis has a corresponding closing parenthesis and if they are correctly nested now let's discuss our approach to solve this problem in typescript we will utilize a stack a fundamental data structure that operates on the last in and first out leafo principle here is a plan as we traverse through the string every time we encounter an opening parenthesis we will push it into the stack when we encounter a closing parenthesis we will check if it matches the most recent opening parenthesis on the stack if it does great we can continue if not or if we run into a closing parenthesis with an empty stack the string is invalid that is too much to explain okay so let's try to visualize this by understanding what's what will be happening behind the scene for that purpose i will be on my whiteboard to to explain how these things work after explaining we will come back to the code section to write some code okay here i am we will take a stack to store the values or the opening parenthesis and we have a map in the map we will store the opening bracket as a key and the closing bracket as a value of that key and similarly for all three brackets okay let's consider an example if we have a input string as this first we will iterate on the string okay next we will store the current value of the string at the current index that will be for uh, suppose it is uh, at zero index it is as one index it is at two index and it is as three index First, the for loop will give us the zero index. So we will store the current index of a string in a variable. We will name that variable, for example, char. So we will example. We will store that variable in a char variable. Okay. So basically, this means that we have stored this uh, parenthesis opening parenthesis in a character variable. And next, we will check if character is at the as a key in the map. Uh, you can see it is it exists as a key so what we will do is we will push the this into the stack and it would look like this okay next we will check in the next iteration we will have this one now we will check uh, now uh, in character variable we will have s of i which is uh, one at this time so that will be our this one so in character now we have this closing bracket next we will pop the uh, last value from this tag and we will store in a variable uh, such as named uh, or you can say top variable okay so it will basically contains the value that is uh, that we have pushed onto this tag recently and it will take that value and we will store that value in a top variable it will help in further looking up in the maps or uh, while removing the elements from the stack okay so first we will uh, get this value by a method remove element in dart or in python there is pop method in typescript there is also a pop method so that is also done next we will check if the top variable or the top value which in this case is this uh, opening parenthesis opening round parenthesis now we will check if it exists in a map as a value so you can see it exists in a map as a value and we will get that value 
as I have said that in the current iteration, the character has this closing bracket, and now we have also this value. We will compare if they are not equal. It means that the string is a valid because you can see that we have a uh, opening bracket also and a closing bracket also so that completes a parenthesis so it is a valid string okay so if if they do not matches that is a valid parenthesis if it matches uh, we will have a condition something like this not equal to so in this case if this condition is true the string is not a valid uh, is not valid if this uh, uh, condition goes wrong or gives uh, false it means that we have this string that is valid it is a bit difficult in explanation as i am also confused so let's back but i have tried my best to explain the code or the approach to you uh, by jumping back into the code we will see how we can solve this by writing some code okay so we are back in the code section as i have explained first we have to declare a stack to keep track of the opening brackets and the opening bracket for that purpose i will declare a constant stack of type string because uh, we will be storing a bracket as a string and this bracket as a string and so on so it will be a type of string next a string of list i can say or array is equal to this list i have initialized a stack with an empty list next i will initialize and uh, declare a map that will be responsible for opening parentheses or to mapping their uh, corresponding pa closing parentheses this mapping is uh, crucial for us to check if a uh, closing parenthesis matches the last opening parenthesis on the stack so for that i will declare constant bracket map we will name this map as a bracket map next we have to declare the type of the key and the value type so for that i will use this bracket and in this bracket we have to first specify the type of key the key will be type of string we will be storing the opening brackets as a key and closing bracket as a value so our keys are type of string and our value will be also a type of string let me explain this code this line declares a constant variable named bracket map which is used to store the mapping of opening to closing parenthesis next the part uh, specifies the type of uh, bracket map object it is an object where each key is a string representing an opening parenthesis and each corresponding value is also a string representing the matching closing parenthesis next i have used this line okay i forget to place a uh, equal to here uh, this will assign an object to the bracket map variable using the object literal notation uh, within the curly brackets we define the key value pair representing the opening and uh, closing parenthesis mapping so let me define what will be in our bracket map first we will store this as uh, a key and uh, the closing bracket closing round bracket as a value next we will store opening curly bracket as a key and uh, closing curly bracket as a value next we will store opening square bracket as a key and uh, closing square bracket as a value so our this map is done next we will move on to the for loop uh, for loop will be responsible to iterate over the string that uh, we are receiving as an argument to this function for that i will write for constant char or you can say let constant char of s i am using for off loop not for in loop for in loop represents uh, or returns a uh, object but uh, for off loop returns our type of string so i am using a type of 
for off loop that will return me a string because our concern is with the, the single character that uh, for loop returns from the the string that is incoming next we will check if the current character char is an opening parenthesis by verifying if it exists as a key in the bracket map if it is we push it into the stack if char in bracket map if it is then we will add the stack dot push the char this uh, if condition basically checks if the current character char is an opening parenthesis uh, by verifying it uh, if it exists as a key in the bracket map if it is we will push that uh, into the stack next if the current uh, character is not an opening parenthesis we enter the else block indicating it is a closing parenthesis or another character so let's define a else block in the else block we will check if the stack is empty when encountering a closing parenthesis it means there is no corresponding opening parenthesis hence we immediately return false if stack dot length is equal to zero if the stack is empty we will simply return false and we will exit from the function next next we will retrieve the last opening parenthesis from the stack using the pop method and store it in the variable top this will help us in future lookup in the map so for that i will declare cost top name and here we will store stack dot this method returns the element that will be popped from the stack that will be removed from the stack so next we will check next we will compare the current closing parenthesis which is char with its corresponding opening parenthesis stored in top if they don't match the string is valid and we will return false if bracket map and here we will check top uh, this will go into the bracket map which is over here and uh, top will be as a key so the bracket map will look top exist in a map if it exists it will return the value that uh, is stored as a value to the key okay. is not equal to char which is our current character okay return false finally i after uh, iterating through the entire string if uh, there are any remaining opening parentheses left uh, in the stack it indicates unmatched parentheses so we will return false if the stack is empty it means all uh, parentheses were matched correctly and uh, we return true so after the for loop which ends over here we will return stack dot length equal to zero this will basically checks if stack is empty then return true uh, if the stack is not empty it will return false so let's try to run this code we are having an error let's see where is the error okay so instead of c we have to write Yes. let's try to run this code again our cases are accepted case 1 is accepted and case 2 is accepted and case 3 is also accepted so that's it for the video here is a short summary we have implemented an algorithm in typescript to solve the valid parenthesis problem step by step we have utilized a stack data structure and a mapping of opening to closing parenthesis to validate the string each line of code plays a crucial role in ensuring the correctness of the solution 
and that concludes our detailed explanation of the TypeScript code for solving the valid parenthesis problem. If you found this breakdown helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more upcoming programming content. Thanks for watching and we will catch you in the next video.